Hey everyone, today we're going to take a quick look at how you can get started with CodeSmash. So if you're new here, this is a perfect video for you. So in order to get started, you will need two things. Uh, first is your AWS account and the second is your GitHub account. So you can deploy your apps in AWS but store your code in GitHub. And what you will see is that you actually have uh, two tabs here. You have the AWS account for your AWS accounts and uh, the other one is for your GitHub accounts. So first things first, uh, let's go and click on the GitHub tab and now let's click on the uh, add account button. Okay, so let's start by adding the name of your GitHub account. It can be anything like uh, my GitHub account, right? So once you've added that, you also need to add the username of your GitHub account. And if you're not sure of anything, just hover over the question marks and uh, you'll get uh, these helpful tooltips. Basically, I have my GitHub account here. I just copy the name like this and just paste it into the uh, input box. Next, uh, we will need to add a token so that we can access the account from CodeSmash. Basically, just click on the question mark and it's going to take you to the right place. You can now click Generate New Token and click on the classic one. So once you're here, just give your token a name like uh, My Awesome Token and make sure to set the expiration to uh, basically no expiration, right? And uh, also select the repo. So you're pretty much done and just uh, click generate token. Uh, your token is going to be right here so you can copy it like this. Perfect. Yeah. So just go back to code smash, paste it in. There you go. And uh, once you're done, just click on add account. So that's that. So once you're done, you'll be able to see your GitHub account right here. And uh, that means that we can proceed to adding your AWS account. So guys, just uh, click on AWS account again. Once you've done that, uh, you can add the name for your AWS account as well and some credentials. And after that, we're going to connect it to the uh, GitHub account that uh, we've just added. Again, all the tooltips are working, so uh, if you don't know something, just make sure to hover over them. Okay, let's start out by uh, adding the name of the account. Then we need to provide some credentials. Well, just click here on the question mark and it's going to take you to your uh, AWS account. Just start out by creating a new user. Let's call him uh, code smash uh, admin user and click next once you're done. Here the only thing you need to do is click uh, attach policies uh, directly and uh, here just start typing admin and it's the admin one. Yeah, admin access, this is what you want and click next. There's not much to do here, just click uh, create user and you're done. So the user has been created. Now you can go and uh, click on the user. So here go to security credentials and just go here and click create access key. Just create next, click next. Yeah, just click create the key. And here you when you get the keys, just copy them and just paste it in here. This is your access key. Go back, copy your secret access key and paste it in right here. So once you're done with that, it's time to add your account. Just click here on your GitHub account. You can see it right here. And here we need to create the link. So click again on the question mark and it's going to take you to your AWS account as well. So click create a connection. and make sure to check GitHub connection. Here you can just add some very simple name. So GitHub connection. So hanging there guys, we're almost done. Just click on connect to GitHub. Now on this page, just click install a new app. Awesome, so this is actually gonna give AWS access to your GitHub account. 
So just click on install and uh, we're almost done guys. That's it. This is your connection and uh, the only thing you need to do is uh, click connect. Great. Now you have a connection and just uh, copy this uh, ARN. Once that's copied, go back to Code Smash and just paste it in right here. And click Add Account. And that's that. So now you have your AWS account that's connected to your GitHub account. At this point, you're done and uh, you can start deploying apps with Code Smash. You can also check all the credentials here. And also now uh, the total cost is also displayed for your AWS account. So just click here and you'll see each service and you'll see the total cost as well. So this is the breakdown by services and uh, also, like I said, the total cost. You can just go back now and also close this pop-up window. So guys, if you like what you see here, just head over to Dilify.com because currently we're having a sale and uh, Dilify.com is actually promoting us. We are currently on a live sale, a, a lifetime deal sale. So you pay only once and you get to use Code Smash forever. We've got three plans, 125, 225 and for enterprise it's $325. But most importantly, each plan's features are uh, unlimited so you don't have any additional costs and that's it for this video guys uh, stay tuned because uh, a lot of new features are coming real soon